How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? What's up guys, it's your girl TJ here. I am back with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in and we are definitely gonna get down talking about money in this video because you guys know that's what's a little bit different about this channel. I care just as much about helping you all budget, make money management easy, just as much as I care about kicks. And my Golden State Warriors, which have been giving me hell lately, but we're not gonna get into that. So, why, like this title says, like, why would you actually go ahead and set this type of goal? Well, if you guys didn't know, first off, I do have an ebook and it's 100% free and it is to help you better manage your money, all right? It's called How to Build a Set Budget and Set Budgeting is the term that I came up with for the way that I choose to budget because after taking care of the first four, the essential things of life in a household, you can then focus on saving extra debt payments and treating yourself, which is where the set part of set budgeting comes from. It's free. All you have to do is email me for a copy and that is in the description box of every single video just so you guys know. That's always available for you. Always, always, always. So why set a goal to be able to you know save and make an extra debt payment just the same as you would to pick up a sneaker right and i know one's gonna have more of an emotional attachment than the next right we're dishing out money for something that we're getting back and we're putting money aside to save or even pay off extra debt there's delayed gratification there because you don't need that savings today but you're gonna need it down the road when an emergency happens that debt you know it's a little bit extra towards whatever balance you have it's not paid off today though so you're still thinking like damn i'm still in debt like what the heck right trust me i get it i, I understand the psychological um kind of tendencies behind it but what i want you to think about is you need to make sure you're setting your future self up for just as much happiness as you are current you today when you go pick up that sneaker now have you ever said to yourself I just don't have it in, I don't, I don't have it this month to be able to save or to make an extra debt payment. I just don't have it. Have you ever, you know, ever said that to yourself inside your head? Okay, in that same month and in that same breath though, if you pretty much lied to yourself because you somehow found the money to go pick up whatever new Jordan, new Nike, new Adidas, whatever you're into, whatever new shoe released that month, you found a way to make that work, didn't you? So if you found a way to make that work, you can put forth that effort to go get that sneaker. I think you can also find it in your budget to make an extra debt payment or to put aside some money for savings. It's only right because listen, you're going to need that one day, okay? And future you is gonna be looking at current you like, what the F, what were you thinking? So I'm not saying that it needs to be outrageous because everybody's income is gonna be different. Everybody's situation is different. Everybody's minimum debt balances that are due every single month, debt payments that are due every month, that's gonna be different too. And it's gonna vary. All I'm saying is one-on-one, -on -one, how about that? Just try that out, one-on-one. -on -one. So what you're treating yourself to, that amount, match that with either saving or extra debt payments. Like, I think that's extremely reasonable. So if, let's say a Jordan 1 is dropping, we know they're traditionally $160 and you add on tax, they kind of go up to 170 or whatever. So let's just say, total for the shoe, you're looking at about 170. Let's just round that out, 170. So if I can pay 170 for a shoe for the month, I need to also find it in my budget or make the effort in my budget to either save 170 in that month or put that amount towards an extra debt payment, all right? I think that's extremely reasonable. That's why I said wanna play a little one-on-one -on -one because I think that's the game you need to at least play and it's a great starter point, okay? You don't have to go insanely big in terms of saving every single month. Now, I do think people should, you know, try to save 5 to 10% of their income that they bring home every single month. You should try to save 5 to 10% of that every month if you can, but I get it. Not everybody can. Sometimes your expenses take up a whole lot of what you bring home. I get it, but just keep in mind, I still think it's smart for you to try to just get, give, give the one-on-one -on -one a try, all right? Give the one-on-one -on -one a try. Is that like really, I don't think that's insane for me to ask you. Is it, I don't think it's insane for me to ask you. Give the one-on-one -on -one a try, all right? 
And if you are able to do more, it's awesome. Always do more if you can do more, right? I mean, think about it. Some of y'all are literally spending $800 a month on sneakers. If you're picking up a sneaker every single week and sneakers are looking to be about $190 to $200 for retail just before taxes. So if you're dropping 800 bucks a month on sneakers, okay, like no offense, I really do think that like, hey, okay, you either put 400 aside in savings or 800 aside in savings and another 400 aside towards debt if you have it. That's just how my mind works because I want to be able to do a little bit of everything. That's what the whole set budgeting thing is. You know, it's it's uh, planning for tomorrow while still enjoying the little things today. That's kind of what my book is about. And I think that's what you're doing when you're if you're taking care of saving. I'm taking care of some extra debt payments, and I'm treating myself. You you got it. That's a tri triple triple double right there. You are doing it all. You become the rust of finance and budgeting and money management and i don't think that you can ask for much more than a triple threat so let me guys or let me know in the comment section below um what what do you think about that just let me know what do you think about that is that something that you would take on and do if you aren't already doing that or is there another way that you're doing that already works like it's always fun just to hear how you guys manage money in the comment section below so as always i am open to hearing what's on your mind please let me know those comments are open i love responding to them i try to get back to each of you thank you so much for watching this video and again i'm on that road to 10k i feel like i can truly hit 10k by in the ah, I can't talk. <laughs> end of this year and i also want to do a 2k q a if i can hit 2k by the end of march thank you so much for rocking with me guys as always peace out